Gang, Christmas came early this year because the Are You Garbage special is on YouTube right now. Yeah, guys, go share with your friends. Hit them up in the group chat. Tell people who aren't familiar with the show. This is a perfect way to introduce them. Check it out. It's a good time. A lot of laughs. Thanks for watching. Love you. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, <laughs> and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure it's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they're good to be classy mm -hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Yeah. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a chilly day, very Ooh. cold here in the Northeast. Aunt Tootie's upstairs. She got the space heaters out. Trying to keep her plants alive. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want to ruin the crop this year, if you know what I mean. Yeah. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. We've got a little company in the building. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is the second international businessman here in the studio. Oh, I don't like that. Me being the newly appointed. I bought a couple of things over there. I made some purchases, bought some magnets and stuff. But give it up for KJ. It's Mr. Kevin James Ryan, goddammit. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby. Check uh, the special. Check out the special over there on YouTube, the AYG special. It's a compilation of uh, our last year on a road, a little behind-the-scenes stuff. A shout out to Tate Bone for that. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Patreon.com, which is cooking. You sign up, you get bonus content. Uh... Episodes of AYG, Hard Feelings, live stream, the whole nine yards. Check it out. Absolutely. And have a nice quick shout out. Speaking of which, to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. Give it up for T-Bone McBuggins, Toby McMullen. Good to see you, pal. What's up? Good to see you guys. Thanks to everybody who's watched the special and reached out. And, you know, we all worked real hard on it. And we're fucking, we love you. Thank you. Yes. Thank absolutely. You. Love you guys. And we absolutely, absolutely adore and love our very special guest that's here with us today. He was supposed to come and visit with us around the holidays because he's fucking family. Uh -huh. But because of the Omnicron, we couldn't have him in. Uh, but he's here now. We love him. Ladies and gentlemen, on his way down to pitchers and catchers in Clearwater, fucking Philly. He's more of a catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I pitch. I pitch. Philly super fan, Ian Fidance, everybody. Hey, cousin Ian. Cousin Ian's here. Cousin Ian's here. Good to see you, family. Thanks for having me. I couldn't be happier to be back. I had a gift for you, but I left it at home. Uh, <laughs> classic cousin Ian. Classic cousin. I left it in the Uber. Hey, you gotta be. You, know? you gotta be the last fucking guy they invite to fucking family holidays. I'll tell you that. I'm the first guy. I'm the fun. <laughs> one. Yeah, they I'm give the me the wrong address. Fun though. cousin. I figure it <laughs> out. We're gonna be at Uncle Steve's. This week. Ian, what did you forget out. us this year? Some Whitmans. <laughs> Half-eaten Whitman? A half-eaten um, sampler? CVS candy for the fellas. That's right. And an anniversary card. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. How are you? I am fan-fucking-tastic. Couldn't be better. Very grateful for every day I got and every day that's coming my way, and I'm very happy to be here. Oh, man, today. this guy just got out of a meeting. Jesus. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jesus, freak! Take it easy. <laughs> He Holy shit. Yes. I don't know what you're selling, but we ain't buying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't dare battle like that at all. <laughs> Woo! I'm selling a good book. Feeling good in the neighborhood <laughs> through the one true Lord Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the video you fucking jumping around uh, with who is that? The Mighty Boston's? No. Pie taster. What did you just do? You got a little corned beef in your teeth. I, huh? No, I you had a mustache hair in my mouth and I pulled oh. it out. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes they get long, they get in my mouth. I got to yank them out. I pull, I pull the ones out from the side yes, with my teeth. Yes, there it is. It oh, feels good, right? It feels so good. Amazing. Yeah, it's nice. Amazing. It was the pie tasters, cat bite. 930 Club, iconic rock venue in D.C. I don't know what the hell he was talking <laughs> about for a second. <laughs> Your old pal, Ian. A couple of chart toppers, I see. Was doing <laughs> Real big in Sheboygan. Yeah, was this the Grammys? What are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> the pizza oven's getting away. You guys performing? I will not have you besmirch my friends in ska. Hey, push the soup, will you? <laughs> Rock venue in Calzones. <laughs> <laughs> Boy's got a hot show. They got the number one hot dog in D.C. <laughs> There's a painting of Italy on the wall. Uh, <laughs> Picture of John Travolta behind you. Yeah, a slice. Soprano impersonators. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, it was man. awesome, man. I, this I, is a band you like. Yeah, the Pie Tasters and Cat <laughs> Bite. I got one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan, too. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm big in Europe. Yeah, <laughs> and in America. <laughs> and in this room. <laughs> uh, they were great, man. It was awesome. Cat Bite, great ska band from Philly. I went out. I sang with them. I danced around. It's fucking awesome, dude. Better not let the insurance investigators see you fucking (laughs) hopping around the stage like that, looking fit as a fiddle. I know. I know. Shout out to my osteopath and physical therapy for helping me out. Who will not get paid. Yeah. No, he's very good on IOUs. (laughs) Do you pay at the doctor or do you wait and get the bill? I pay at the doctor. You do? Yeah. Wow. I got it. I'm all right. I'm doing all right. Pie eaters tickets? Yeah. (laughs) Pie eaters. I mean, he's not that far off, to be honest. <laughs> oh, what are they called? Oh, the Pie Tasters. Taste. Yeah, they They seem like an awesome band. Yeah, they're great. They fantastic. Man. They're great. They're fan- Dude, they were the first ska band I ever saw live when I was like 14 at the Trocadero, and then now I opened for them in D.C. It was pretty cool. So they must be doing great. Come a long way, huh? <laughs> Listen, fellas, don't make me Well, I got a gift for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I, what's with that? Oh, yeah, he's got brass knuckles. He's got knuckles. brass knuckles. The what are you, one of the going warriors? under. De Blasio turned this town to shit. I'm taking it back. I stopped a woman from getting the shit kicked out of her in Brooklyn, and ever since then, I got the knuckles to take care of myself. Really? Yeah, it was gnarly. What, who was this? It was fucking down uh, on third. I was the one hitting her, but still. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I stopped myself from beating up a woman. And, uh... I wanted to hit her when I did it. <laughs> I could have. I would have taken her for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She would have gotten it. Stole her brass knuckles and I left. But uh, no, I, dude, it was gnarly. And uh, a, a couple comics got punched. That's your last on the gnarly subway. for the episode, by the way. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just said two. Did I know I? what the pie guy is too much. Sorry. I know. Yeah. Well, you know. Have you ever been close to tragedy? That's a good song. Great song. Isn't Fantastic that every song? song. <laughs> 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 They're great. You know? I have a feeling you don't respect Ska. That's the impression that I get. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big Ska guy, for sure. That's the door that you leave through. <laughs> So tell us your and Batman the one tale. You can't fit through. What? <laughs> it's, it's good. Well, huh? it's, it's quick. It's good. All right. Uh, no, dude. I was riding my bike and I I saw. When was this was, recently? Eh, about maybe two months ago. Okay. It was no, no. It was before I hurt my back. So probably like October, mm-hmm. I think. I was riding my bike and I saw this girl getting chased across the street and I didn't know what it was and I thought that it was like. Just a couple play fighting. You know, she was like, help, help. He was like, get back here. I was like, that's ah, flirting. Yeah. You know? He's shooting at her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, New York and love. Yeah, Am I yeah, right, yeah. folks? Ah. He's got a knife. I'm like, wow, they really care about each other. It's <laughs> personal. So, dude, I, I go a little and I turn. I'm like, wait a minute. And this guy is field ball, field, field goal kicking this girl on the street. Jesus. Why? It was fucking. Domestic situation or just a random attack? I didn't know him personally. All right. Totally, all right. I didn't say like, hey, did you guys fighting over the bill? How do you guys know each other originally? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, I crowd work. Yeah. <laughs> My material's not strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of an attitude man. <laughs> You're visiting, huh? So uh, I intervened. And uh, what'd you do? Grab him? I didn't get anywhere close physically. I was <laughs> he pulled out his mace. <laughs> so I, I got to let the bear spray at the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I threw some Whitman's at him. And then what do you know? They ate chocolates and left. He was dressed like dog the bounty hunters kid. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get off the ice I took out a bible and I started screaming at him No, from far away I was like, get the fuck off her And he got and looked at me and she got up and ran away Nice Yeah, and Good then uh, he came after me And <laughs> <laughs> <We're now dating. laughs> I think she ran that way <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'll help you uh, No, dude I, So what'd I you do, take swear off? swear to God, he goes, who the fuck are you? Ian Finance, follow me. <laughs> I Animal Six Nine on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. My guys on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Sopranos Prima Volta with Sam Roberts. He goes, "Who the fuck are you?" And uh, I didn't have time to think, so I said, uh, "I'm a concerned citizen." Oh my god! <laughs> About to get his ass kicked. Yeah. I'm a guy who made a mistake. <laughs> And, no, uh, good for you. We had some words, and then you know it just kind of died down. I nice. Went along my way. 
There you go. Yeah. Now you're and fucking. The, now you're ready, dude. The fucked up thing is, she. I saved her and she didn't even thank me. <laughs> That's yeah. always a weird She's situation. Not I stick around. Yeah, what no, the fuck? I chased her down the street and beat the shit <laughs> out. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> you don't thank me. <laughs> yeah, it was. No. Uh, her mind know. was obviously in other places. Well, yeah. well, that's good. You saved her. Yeah, it was crazy. Cheers to you, buddy. Hey, I like. Thank you, pal. Fucking yeah. not all heroes wear capes. That's right. No, but they do wear a, fil- a shitty Phillies jerseys and jewelry. <laughs> You really got me something? We got you a gift, pal. No. We got you a gift for you Christmas. Gift. Your cousin Ian. Oh, my God. I feel Ian. so bad about the Whitman. <laughs> <laughs> what do I got in my pocket? No, no, no. Leave the ferret in there, please. <laughs> <laughs> no rodents. There's a no rodent policy here. <laughs> Two Hulls cough drops and a gerbil? I legit have Tums I'll give you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. No way! There you go. Yeah. Custom made. Oh, custom dude. made. Custom Bernie's made. hat. Look at I that. Embroidered it. Bernie's I beanie. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, you so much. This is great. Mm-hmm. I love it. There you it. go. Hell yeah. I'll cover that hairline. Now dude, back was... to the show. He's thinking of what the resale value is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be on eBay by the time he gets out of here. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace <laughs> coming at you. He's going to be in the Facebook group. I have this in a Boba Fett for sale. <laughs> You guys notice these things are missing. <laughs> T-bone's gone. I got a T-bone. I got a producer for you. We call them buttons. Uh, that's great. I got a Bernie shirt that I wear. I know. People love know. it. I know. Well, I posted a picture with it, and you're like, I want one. Oh, and I you're said, a sweetheart, done man. deal. Thank you. Yeah, that's Thank that same you. one I was wearing. So, Look you know, that. you might want to yes. wash it. Yes. <laughs> I do see a bit of uh, some lice. There's, there's, some rog- <laughs> there's some Rogaine stains in there. <laughs> some dandruff. <laughs> Uh, so what did you do over the holidays? How how was your Christmas, man? Incredible. Yeah. Amazing. Me and my gal, we drove to to uh I had that road gig in DC in the twenty sixth. So that morning He says it like we oh the okay. What? It was the with concert. the band. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you were just so, talking about like we knew your schedule. I wait, that was, wait, that was a know, gig, wasn't it? You just you going to a concert? No, I opened okay. the show. So right, I went well, up. How long did you do? I did like 10 before the first band, then before the second band, I went up to 10 What songs again. did you do? I sang Sunday Morning, a No Doubt <laughs> cover with Cat Bite. Did you really? And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. And then for one of the Pie Taster songs, he had me sing, and I forgot the lyrics, so I was just going, la, 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 la. But what can you do, you know? Yeah, you are a strange bird. Cut that. <laughs> uh, so the 26th. <laughs> me and my gal drove down to Delaware in the morning, saw my mom on the lawn, do a little gift exchange, you know, Omicron, you gotta, you know. Keep Post Christmas. Stuff. Yeah, day after. after. Christmas gift exchange. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> well, worst. I don't go, I don't really go home on Christmas. I do it later. Christmas is just When everything's title. on sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you get the candy. Catch you on the 27th. <laughs> real cheap. No, cri- well, because I got a birthday on the 31st, too. Oh, right. So it's like, you know, you bang it out all in one shot. So we went down, saw my mom, took a train down to D.C., had a great time. Went on back the, the lawn. next day. Where'd you stay? Uh, we just went to Delaware in the morning and then took a train to D.C. because that gig was on the 26th. How'd you get to Delaware? Drove. Okay. Her car. So we dropped the car off at my mom's, went to D.C., real fun, had a great time. Next day, went back to Delaware, saw my mom, got the car, drove up to a yurt in Saugerties outside of Woodstock, mm-hmm. stayed at my buddy's yurt for two days. Amazing. Mm-hmm. I was making fires in the snow, wood burning stove. We, we went to the church. Bob Dylan got married in. Incredible time. Yeah. Nice dinner. It's nice the up there woods. this time of year. Incredible. We found walking sticks. We're walking around. Strangers are saying hi. Some guy invited us to his property to meet his dogs. You can't beat it. Amazing. What, what that was just know? nothing, 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 nothing. I was going to make a rude comment, but I decided not to. How Thank big you. was the yurt? Which we know what a yurt is now. Yes. Yeah, who grew up in a yurt? Emma Wilman. She that grew up in a yurt? She was a dome She was person. a dome. Oh, She had wow. a geometric, or what do they call it? A, geo- a geodescent dome. Geodescent what? dome, yeah. You're thinking of my homie who lives in a dirt, a yurt. No. Your we're... homie that lives in the dirt? <laughs> <laughs> he does have a couple of those. <laughs> he got a couple dead friends. <laughs> Sounds like a bad Dr. Seuss poem. <laughs> The man who lived in the yurt <laughs> <laughs> by Shel Silverstein. I will not have cable here. I will not have cable there. <laughs> there was a man who had no money. <laughs> he moved to the woods and sold his honey. We had to poop in a place that wasn't a toilet. It was funny. <sighs> wow. 
cut that. <laughs> uh, so, dude, the yurt was awesome, man. We loved How it. How big is the yurt? The yurt, they had yurts at fucking Casey and probably, Robbie's wedding. Probably the size of this fucking studio. Yeah, it's like it a big great. The guy, like lives, a big the guy lives there full time? No, no. He's got two yurts. He's, oh, got, he's doing well one. for himself. It's he's, lead, not some, he's not some one yurt bozo. It's, a, it's <laughs> the lead singer of the Lumineers, Wes Schultz. Oh, that I'm guy. buddies with him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's loaded. Yeah. yeah he's, I started following him on Instagram. He's great, dude. Nice dude. Yeah. Good kid. I got the album. Love that song. Listen to it. Mm. Don't be album saying album that. No, what are you doing? Us. Sorry. Shout out, Wes. You're the best. Shout out, Wes. Good looking uh, kid, too. Handsome. And let me know about this yurt future weekend plan. Dude, He, uh, we could go up there. That'd be oh. a great time. Doing a pod from the yurt? Yurt pods. Yurt, yurt pods. Yurt, yurt pods. Yurt. Let's do it. Holy I don't know not if, an outdoorsy kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, and also, I don't know if you could fit. Um, we can build one around you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can we can make one out of your t-shirts. <laughs> Got my own yurt. How? B- what's inside the yurt? It's awesome, dude. You walk in, you know, there's like a little table, wood burning stove, couch, and then it has like a fridge. The, the bed, yeah, fridge, um, uh, countertop, little area for cups and coffee and stuff. Cutting mutton. What? I don't know. <laughs> what is a cut and mutton? <laughs> what is a cut? He thinks it's mutton is a meat Mutton's and you're cutting meat. mutton. It oh. sounds like 50 slang for fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, you These got two to make out going point and cut some mutton? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I come home from work early. She's in there cutting mutton with the mailman. <laughs> <laughs> I said, listen, doll, you're out on the streets. There'll be no cutting mutton when I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, so it was great. Little bedroom, really nice. Awesome. <coughs> Very great cool. Time. Dude, It's so I love going to the woods in the morning. The sun's coming up. You just get some coffee, cigarette, out in nature. Oh, my God. I'm it's crazy that you know the lead singer of the Lumineers. I know. Yeah, wild? how did that happen, by the way? He saw me do stand-up at Greenwich Comedy Club years ago. Really? And dug me. He and was at Greenwich? Afterwards. Yeah, they couldn't get into the cellar, so they went down to Greenwich. <laughs> Barker's got him. And, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and all the con- there was like 12 people there, and every comic was going up, and they're like, oh, this is so bad. No one's here, and blah, blah. And I went but up. But not Ian. Not me. the show, right? I went up like it was Madison Garden. And I, what is and Madison Garden? Madison Square Garden. I didn't have time to say all the words so uh it's called word economy. madison gardens yes. a restaurant your family got kicked out of when, you were a kid. Yeah. when you're here you're not family <laughs> so i go and uh i'm like are, are you really in the lumineers he's like yeah i was like look man i was a scob in high school i get it and i uh, god know, shit do you know the pie tasters <laughs> had, had a good time and we talked afterwards exchanged numbers and then we've just been buddies ever since i remember nice. you brought you Such brought him a, to a show at new york comedy club that yes, we were both on did yes. not introduce me yeah, I did. Nope. I Standing did. right there, no. not introduced. No. This is pre AYG, though. No. Yeah, now you got a little cachet when you're walking. Yeah. Around. No. Henry. Did not. Him and his girl got out of the cab. Did, I, I was standing right well, there. We were with in a you. rush because they got there late. No. And we had to get him in. No. Yes. I remember that distinctly. Yeah, iced me. No, I didn't. Don't ever fucking say that. Uh-oh. I wouldn't ice you. Uh oh. Oh, are you going to beat me up, Brass Knuckles? Huh? <laughs> T Bone, get him. <laughs> <laughs> W-W-H. Put him in a yurt. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful, bro. <laughs> Ian's going to get Dykstra in here fuck tune you up. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of another famous t- pal we, of mine. We've talked about it on Patreon, uh, but Ian got us in a, a love triangle with Lenny Dykstra and his booker. Hey, I help you out. Talk yes, about sir. not taking no for an oh, answer. Man. What happened? <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. Oh, here's, Literally, can, there's, can I, there's can, nothing that describes <laughs> Ian more than... We tweeted, who do you want to see on the pod or whatever? If I hear a pair of cleats walking to the door, <laughs> I'm jumping out the window. <laughs> I start smelling popcorn and hot dogs. Yeah. I'm out Can here. I tell you what happened Take from my me point out of view? The- what? From my point of view, you guys go, who do you want on the pod? And I go, Lenny Dykstra. And you go. Like, no, oh, you go, yeah, Lenny you Dykstra. Wait, wait, wait. And then you this go. Is, welcome to Finance And land, then by you the go, Lenny we're open or something. I was being polite. That's I'm a for, public That's speaker. for an audience. Because you're tagging everybody. That's for an audience well, I'm member. I'm thinking, hey, I, why not? Okay. So hold on. Yeah. So I go, oh, Lenny. You can't win the tickets. You work for the radio station. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so> I, <laughs> I, I like that Ian Finance. <laughs> <laughs> Tweeted from Shmi and Finance. And his buddy Lenny. <laughs> so then he, it turns into, uh, I'll, and then he, I go, yeah, Lenny, we'd love to if you're out there. Me, you know. Then he texts me. He texts both of us. We're getting headshots. We're getting. We're in a photo shoot, 
And he, you text us. Yeah, you guys are in the middle of a Boscov's photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Olin Mills, don't wait. In the wait. back of a Sears. We only, have the, we only have the studio for another 12 minutes. we got to make it happen. <laughs> I'm on Foley's shoulders. Yeah, the back yeah, of the yeah. Sears. A lot of wood. The dog though. won't look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking something. God damn it, mittens. <laughs> Me and Foley are both halfway up the ladder. <laughs> um... And then you you text us, hey, can you talk? I literally respond no, and two seconds later, you're calling me. Hey, I can get him on the phone. I talked to the booker. Hey, listen. Maybe we could do it as a package deal. Me and Lenny. I'm yeah, like, shut the fuck. I'm like, well, listen, I want to talk to him about how he fucked me over in so 2008. I go, so I go, listen, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. You pissing him off in our studio. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't hate at it, though. <laughs> you getting the shit beat out of you wearing a Lenny Dykstra jersey? <laughs> I could get down uh, with that. Nails getting knows how to handle himself. Uh, getting fuck. beat up by your hero. That's great. <laughs> so well So what? then you turn out you turn me over to the booker. You talk to the booker, then the booker starts calling me, texting me and calling me, going, I got Lenny, he's on the way. It's here, he's here. Why? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. All I know is I talk to the guy and he goes, Look, uh, yeah, I'll call him and see what he thinks. He's gonna probably ask for like a hundred dollars. <laughs> I got to say, I get 20 here. he goes, he goes, I got to say, he's get not well, he goes, I got to say, he's not well, he's kind of fucked up in the head, but it'll be good, you know, for whatever. And I go, all right, I'll talk to them. See if it's all right. Meanwhile, I don't know. He's going to you. I don't know. I don't he's, think he's, he's like, I know him through other business. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know that he's calling you and he's like, I got Lenny in a van. I got no clue <laughs> no, about that. He wasn't that. saying that he was, you know, it was just, it was just like. Are Either way, he needs a place to wash up. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, he's going to stay in your place for a couple of days until he gets his head on straight. Until a couple of things. Will... Hey, if anybody asks, Lenny was with you all week. Okay? <laughs> hey, he'll do it, but he needs an alibi for the 12th. Hey, he's a good guy, but keep him away from the cold cuts. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring him by and drop off some fake movie tickets. If anybody asks, you were at the cinema. A couple of stubs. <laughs> I was at the Rangers game <laughs> with Dykstra. So was he. They were away that week. <laughs> was now he... you're all hemmed up in federal court. Jeez, now you got to roll on Lenny. Then they put you in the same cell. Now he's pissed at you. Yikes! Listen, for the record, no thanks. I love Dykstra. Shout love out ya. to Dykstra, and I wouldn't, you know, I don't, you know, yeah. It was so just, what happened? What do you mean? He came they in, we had a great time. Him? What yeah. do you think happened? No, he called me a couple of times. I just told him, I said, "Hey, man, we're not interested." Yeah, we yeah. killed the phones uh, uh, and disappeared for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's why you went the to Lenny, the Lenny blew over. <laughs> Hurricane Lenny coming in. Kimmy, okay, let's talk about Helix mattresses. Helix mattresses. Ain't they the best? You got one. I want one. You don't gotta hang out in some mattress store like a bazo. Nope. You go online. You take the quiz. You tell them how you sleep. And they're going to straighten you out. Yes, guys. It's fantastic. The good folks at Helix were nice enough to send us one. Mm -hmm. And then we liked it so much, we upgraded to a king. Same one. Twilight series. Look at That's you. what the test gave us. The two-minute quiz. Easy peasy. Me and, me and Abroad took it. Fantastic. Um, Helix is awesome, but don't take our word for it. Uh, they were awarded number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine's. Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as the go-to solution for improving sleep. There you go. Just go to helix.com slash garbage. Take the two-minute sleep quiz. They'll take match it. you with a customized mattress. They'll give you the best sleep of your life. Ten-year warranty. You get to try it out for free for 100 nights, risk-free. They'll even pick it up if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has financing options uh, and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is not too far away. This is it. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, helixsleep.com slash garbage. Do it. Gang, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yes. Good folks at BetterHelp want you to know that if you got something that's standing in your way of uh, fulfilling your happiness, they can, they can actually help you. It's not a self-help line. It's not a crisis line. It's licensed therapists that are available 24 hours a day for you to talk to. Yes, you'll be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Uh, there's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be available locally if you live in a smaller town or a little more remote area. Yeah. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account at any time, send a message to your therapist. You get a timely, thoughtful response sent back to you. You can schedule weekly, monthly video calls, phone calls, whatever you want. They're there to help. It's easy peasy. Um, better, better help is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they will make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. Um, special offer for are you garbage podcast listeners. you get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash garbage. One more time. That's betterhelp.com slash garbage slash garbage. Do it. 
<laughs> Holy shit. I was a big Dykstra fan as a me too. kid growing up in, uh, in Philly. Him know? and Dalton. Too. Forget about I, it. I got the Dalton jersey on right now. Shout out to Dutch. I got a Dalton story if you want to hear it. Okay. My God. What are you hanging out at the locker room? What are you doing? Well, kind of. How are you seeing all these guys? I've lived a life. <laughs> In 93, okay. <laughs> you were like 11. What are you talking I was about? Eight. In 93, I went to Philly's baseball camp, right? Make a wish. And uh, you were working at a McGurk's much. in Philly. <laughs> McGurk. They came in. You know, you, can I tell another thing real quick? You know, I, I shaved my head when I was younger. I was, I was like maybe eight or nine, right? Mm -hmm. I went to a Phillies game and I was right by the field, and it turned out that it was like a leukemia type thing. Mm hmm. And they invited. And all I these know a good deal when I see they, one. <laughs> they invited all these. I'm not going to tell them no. It's, it's lying by omission. When they, they started invited... hooking me up to the chemotherapy machine, I got a little worried. I did have an IV bag, but sure. <laughs> they invited all these kids with leukemia on the field, and they were walking by me, and they kept pushing me to go out, going, "Come on, don't be scared." And I just was like, "Okay." And I went on the field. He's out there I hitting dingers. The other kids are <laughs> the other kids are all weak and coughing. You're running the bases and shit, <laughs> tracking down fly balls. I got to tell I, you, I feel great. It's the I best day of my life. I don't know life. what they're putting in these peanuts. But. I take out a kid at second base. Yeah. <laughs> you, go, you, you go in cleats up. So uh, anyway, uh, 93, I'm at Phillies baseball camp. Prior to that, do you remember when the Phillies used to be able to like get down to the front throughout the innings? You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you start out with the bad yeah, seats yeah, yeah, yeah. and you end up whatever. Yeah. So we did the, that. The, the and, dirt uh, ball dad move. That's what yes. that is. Yeah. And so uh, Dalton like struck out or he like didn't do something. This drunk guy's behind us and he's heckling. He's yelling, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, stop that. I like took up for Darren Dalton and he goes, hey, kid, you ever get a chance? You get down to the field, ask him about his friends, Jack Daniels and Jim Beam. And I was like, oh, I don't know what that means. So I go to Philly's baseball camp, 93. Darren Dalton shows up. He does like a uh, clinic type thing, and then he has a question and answer session with all the kids. Shows you how to buy a hooker. <laughs> and uh, pulls his dick out. I raise and and afterwards he's doing a signing, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, he was like, "Holy shit, you lived! <laughs> <laughs> you look so good, the, kid. Wow, chemo works." <laughs> so I we were all taking bets. You were gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you were the link weak in the chain. Hell of an immune system on this kid. I'm saying so that. So I raise my hand to ask a question, and uh, they call on me, and I go, um, Darren, how are your friends Jim Beam and Jack Daniels? And he goes, excuse me? And I said it again. He goes, kid, where are your parents? <laughs> they left me weeks and ago. And I go, I go, my mom's at home and my dad's in heaven. Oh, God. <laughs> and they stop the question and answer. He doesn't do the autograph session. And later they just hand out cards to everyone. <laughs> you were that kid. You yeah. did say heaven all the time. Not, <laughs> not, not, oh, my dad passed away. Yeah. He's at the North Pole with Santa. <laughs> <laughs> He's up in the clouds. Aww. If we take a plane high enough, can we see him? My mom's at work and my dad got taken to the farm. Ian, dude, Ian's been ruining events since he was seven. He, a, wake of, a wake of social awkwardness follows Ian around. Woo! <laughs> oh, hey, Dutch, yeah. I hear you cheat on your wife. What's the deal? <laughs> can I smell your fingers? <laughs> When did you shave your head? Uh, this was, I'd say, summer '93. Wait, why? What does that have to do with the chemo or with the leukemia? No, because he, was I, he had it shaved. I had it just shaved so head, and they oh. thought I had leukemia, so they okay. put me out on the field. He's like a dirtbag Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there I am in the jail at the veteran stadium. Life is like a box of chocolates, and no one's looking. <laughs> I leave, eat them. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you I forgot in a car? <laughs> Oh, what a God, star man. Man. Yeah, You are what, something else. What can you do, huh? <laughs> You're the first kid in the fake a wish program. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Shout out Dutch, who's now in heaven. He would wish for two more wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for unlimited wishes. <laughs> Kid, I'm not a genie. I'm John Cena. <laughs> Contractually, I have you beat. I'll talk to your lawyers. <laughs> and now for my first wish. And <laughs> wish for more wishes. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's a smart move. <laughs> you wish for more wishes. Yeah, if you're an eight-year-old grifter. <laughs> you wouldn't wish for more wishes? And you can't at, limit it to three. Make a wish? Oh, I thought you meant with no, like, like a, a genie. genie. Yeah, well, that I mean, that's as like every eight year old that starts of scheming. Course. Goes, I would wish for three more wishes. Yeah, oh, yeah. and then wish for two more things, and yeah. then three more wishes. I wouldn't get greedy. Big dick, be able to fly. Unlimited <laughs> juice boxes. Foley's flying. He can't get up high because he's fat. He's smacking people with his big dick. That's <laughs> <laughs> my superpower. That kid needs a bigger propeller. <laughs> There's too much drag on that boy. <laughs> you need more wishes, buddy. <laughs> Wish for a helicopter above him to hold him up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. My move with the genie would be I want unlimited wishes. But that's never a thing. You can't wish for unlimited wishes. I'll talk that to always, him. There's always, that's always that caveat. Let me tell you. You got enough cash. <laughs> Things can be done. <laughs> mm-hmm. Talk to Dutch Dalton. Yeah, yeah. Good talk buddy to of mine. Uh, Damn. Yeah. All right. Should we do a couple of cues? Let's run through a couple of cues. From the gang? This is a heater. Holy hell. Gang, as you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon, Mm -hmm. you get a question read on the air. Uh And now you have Celebrity E in finance (laughs) to answer your question. That's right. (laughs) He's dressed like a fucking bat boy. (laughs) Oh, that'd be one of my wishes. (laughs) (laughs) To be a bat boy. (laughs) I always wondered who those kids were. Can I grow up with? What do you mean? No. For, for uh, fuck was his name? Sean Bowers? Sean Bowers. Ba- he was one of the Bowers. You got to have it in with the team, right? You guys got to be Yeah, you got to be like a kid of the groundskeeper. He got, no, I forget how he got in. He got in early. Or of a fake disease. <laughs> <laughs> Shave your head, And kids. then just never Live leave. your best life. <laughs> yeah. Hide in the dugout. They can't find you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me, Avery Leprosy. From like seven to like 20. He was the Bat Boy. Twenty. Yeah, he Twenty. Did a, he was, yeah, he was, yeah, he did it. The for kids, a, the kids, the, the, the kids <laughs> get through puberty, and he's still a Bat Boy. Yeah, and I think it. You, you should be able to get. A, you don't you start should, playing. You, you should be able to be <laughs> a they Bat Boy. They don't. They don't upgrade you to closer. You shouldn't be <laughs> hey, a Bat Boy a if job. you can legally drive to the stadium. <laughs> no, no, I get it. It's a good gig, and then, uh, then they moved them in the like in the clubhouse. Like after. that's awesome because yeah. they got to the point where like, hey, it's so. But he said they would fucking. Whack him out. I don't think it pays, but he gets heavy tips. Like oh, at the end of the year. Yeah. So like, I like you know, bet. Like Jim Tomey would tip him like 10 G's or something. Really? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got it. Tomey had a nice Dude, cash. That is yeah. awesome. He said it like he paid for college. Like he did it as really? whole. He did it literally from like seven. How did he on. get the gig? I don't know. Would you do it know. now? Be a Phillies bat boy? For one, yep. one game. I. For one game, yeah, of course. Yeah. No, the whole season next year. The whole you, season. You can't do stand up. I'm uh, No. I, I can Listen, I make, you get to oh, o- you get to open the you get to open the game. Can I can I make him laugh in the locker room? <laughs> You're uh, him with tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey fellas. Can I make him laugh in the locker room? <laughs> He's got his dick tucked in. <laughs> hey boys. <laughs> hey Harper, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> oh God! I would do it if you could promise we'd all be best friends. <laughs> oh. oh man, that's too fucking funny. All right, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Ian, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Cousin fucking Ian. It's been a minute since we had you, pal. It is. No, I'm happy to it's be been back. Been a while. Yeah, yeah. missed you. I mean, we've all been busy. I miss you guys too. Yeah, mm-hmm. chatted a little bit over the holidays. We got yes. to talk to each other. Yeah, it's good. It was nice. I it's love good catching stuff. up. I left you on Reddit. I was like, hey, happy birthday or whatever. Happy. Yeah. Birthday. I don't then, like that, by the way. And then, and then I was he was like, like how you how feeling? You feeling? <laughs> and I just because he had them. COVID and we yeah. were checking I, in. Yeah, we were talking. I know. I was I was on vacation with the family. Yeah, doing. Yeah. I don't like that you switched over. You're staring at me like you hate me. What? No, I'm having a good time. He okay. hates you, though. Yeah, yeah no, he does hate like you. Yeah. But we pay him to smile. I offer you concert tickets. You say no. But you come in and you order them around like you're Jackie Kennedy. I didn't order shit. What I order? Uh, bacon Somebody and fart? No. I did. <laughs> and I didn't think you'd smell it. <laughs> so I made so a I, scene to so distract you. So I converted you. <laughs> attention to Toby. I picked the okay. fight. <laughs> Smells like beefaroni. God, you're gross. <laughs> What are you eating? School lunches these I had days? Penny vodka for breakfast. Whoa, penny my. vodka. <laughs> yeah. Oh my Just god! You are. Tr- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had three dollars worth of pie breakfast this morning. <laughs> digging through the digging through the pennies is the best part. <laughs> yeah, my penny gal va- made a penny, penny a la vodka va- last night. Penny a la vodka. I had it for breakfast. Penny vodka. Delicious. Penny vodka. Penny vodka. It's cheap vodka. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're over there guzzling the sauce. <laughs> Get away from me! Ah, oh, dude, now just breading it up today, Millie. Mm. Oh, that's Scooping good. Scooping the sauce up, garlic bread, can't beat it. Huh? Can't beat it. If you must know, yes. I was thinking about how nice it was of Kevin to wish you a happy birthday. That must have felt really great for you to hear from him on your birthday. Oh, I didn't wish you a happy birthday. I heard birthday. from Toby. <laughs> Why, when's your birthday? Oh, January birthday. 1st. <laughs> no, December 29th. You called me. This bozo left me. Now ice me. Wait, I didn't call you to wish you happy birthday. I didn't know it was your oh, birthday. I, oh, I didn't pick up because I was sleeping, but I thought that's why you called me. <laughs> <laughs> Ice him. Keep him here. You got to remind him who's boss around here, too. You know? I called to tell you there was a problem with the clip. <laughs> <laughs> you misspelled Chris Jenner, by the way. No. <laughs> I didn't know it was your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, well, well, don't be. That's a fucking little kid move. How the fuck? What am I reading your fucking file? I don't know when your fucking birthday your is. Your friend. Say something. He's your friend. I'm not. Do you guys that? spend enough time together? You can't wish a kid a happy birthday? It's not that. Who brings up when? It's my birthday. Uh, you're well, too my busy birthday's in France under- eating frog gras and wish a kid a happy one. Huh? Who you been talking to? <laughs> um, how would I know when his birthday is? I knew. Now, in hindsight, I did know it was a rant. We've made fun of him. For being in that limbo week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about it on an episode very recently. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're a New Year's Eve birthday. I am. That is the ultimate trashiest. Yes. That Got is in so before the, for the tax break. <laughs> <laughs> Keep all my $5 for my I was 27 uncle. days premature because I was a thinker. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get in there. You're I just, was three you're pounds. You're just bothering her too much. I was three pounds eleven ounces. Hello, when I was born. three pounds eleven ounces. It was a preemie. Yeah, you could hold me in the palm of your hand. Two and a half without the glasses. I was. <laughs> I was three pounds eleven ounces because since birth I've been down. See, who knows that eleven? <laughs> That's garbage. I know. What? Who knows how much they weighed when they came out? When they... when you're that little, you got to know it. What do you mean? How much were you? I think I was normal, but I'm Nor- just saying you've I- never been normal, pal. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that you were three pounds, whatever? Because my mom talked about it a lot of the time growing up. Do you know up, exactly the time you were baby, born to? 16 p.m. <laughs> miracle baby. Miracle baby. I was. I shouldn't have lived. I had jaundice. I was in the hospital for a month. Yeah. I kind of had I, I I had some issues in the beginning, too. <laughs> I bet you yeah, yeah these wheels that. almost didn't get off the ground. <laughs> really? I mean, your, yeah. your poor mom. Her fucking knees must have been in her ears with that head coming <laughs> I know. out. Big Irish potato <laughs> head coming out. Uh, it was a rectal birth. <laughs> I came out the back door. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Speaking of the back door, I just let another one out. Uh, come, on, come on, man. I can't help it. Yeah, Broadcasting here. I, I know. Well, I, if I hold it in, my stomach hurts. Oh, God, Why do you think so I got well. the Tums? <laughs> Look, I'm older. I'm falling apart. I'm embracing it. I'm loving it. Wait, I didn't know you were you were having issues. You, you, you were an issue. I, I, was a, I, was a, I was a candidate for SIDS. What's SIDS? Uh, sudden infant death syndrome. Gotcha. How are you a candidate for that? Uh, Good grades, vote? work hard. <laughs> what, what'd your family vote on it? <laughs> well, I was early in the. I was leading the polls for a while. Uh, Grassroots campaign. That's yeah. how. I had to sleep on a board, on like a, on a wooden board upside down, like by my. What are you a fucking vampire? Yeah. With scoliosis. Like, like a skateboard ramp. My my uncle built it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I still do it, by the way. Is that why your head's so big? All the blood rushed down and just stayed in? <laughs> All the cells gathered at the top. <laughs> like a tomato on the vine. Wait, I'll just back this up. <laughs> they had to strap you to a board. Wait, were well, you stuck upside, upside down? down. You were like... <laughs> yeah, my head... I believe my head had to be below my feet. <laughs> Yeah, let me look it up. That's terrible. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. Do you have any pictures? Of, of you in the of board? Me catching air now. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> you hanging like a bat as a fucking three month old? <laughs> Drop your bottle, you're screwed. Oh my uh, god. I don't know. I don't know. It's just I uh I forget. I don't know. I've never really um those babies are all sleeping normal. I think your uncle. I think your uncle was just out of work. <laughs> <laughs> and that kid's gonna need. That kid's gonna need to sleep upside down. Yeah, that kid's gonna need a Rune Goldberg system <laughs> to sleep. Uh, I don't. That's, Rune had, Goldberg. Rune some, Goldberg's a skater. They had some extra wood left over from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it to sleep upside down. 
I don't think upside on down. Board. Put that boy in a birdhouse, quick. <laughs> you got an attic, you're going to need one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he needs more food in the feeder. <laughs> you leave some newspaper down, hope for the best. It'll be all right. That Big. boy gonna make it. <laughs> Time to move him in, get a parrot cage. Kippy. Oh. I gotta talk to my mom. I've never really asked my mom about that. <clears throat> That's terrible. That's very serious. Yeah. Oh, the one man. time I did, I brought it up, and she's like, started like, so I was like, all right, we're moving on. So, oh my god! Yeah. Oh, you poor thing! I'm Thank God you made it. I'm a survivor. You, you know? and me. Look at that. Well, Hell don't, yeah. well, don't love yeah, me with stop. you. What? What would no. you have again? I had jaundice. <laughs> I was 27 days premature. I had to be an incubator, and then uh, the IC. Then I think NICU they left you in a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little overcooked. Put him under the hot lamp at Roy Rogers. <laughs> I got a little overcooked. You're a day old, this guy. <laughs> You were in your mom's womb like, I hear some attention out there. (laughs) Why is no one looking at me? Someone look at me? I get it. I'm going to come out early and be sick. I can't. I was. He uh, came out dancing. I slept on a board. I came out skanking. skanking. (laughs) (laughs) Your mom evicted you? I'm here for some pie tasting. Oh, God. Kate, what do you know about the gang over there at Bespoke Post? Bespoke Post, love them. Box awesome. Are you familiar with it? Because it's notch. pretty cool stuff. Some would say top of the line. Top of the line. Yeah, it's state cool, of the art. Cool guy stuff. Gang, if you don't know about Bespoke Post Box Awesome, you got to get yourself involved. Get it once a month. Absolutely fantastic. Right now, it's the winter. Mm-hmm. I can just imagine. It could be grooming stuff. It could be home bar stuff. It could be outdoor stuff. Camping. Camping. Cool, cool threads. Ooh. Maybe some cozy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they sent out. Do it right. We've said it a thousand times. They sent us such cool shit. I got a knife that I open up all my Amazon packages with. They sent us the uh, the duffel bag that's right over there. We take on a road with us. I got a tumbler. I love it. So to get started, you take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers are going to help them pick out the right box for you. They release new boxes every month across tons of different categories. You just sign up, cancel at any time. Each box only costs 45 bucks. The cream. $70 $70 worth of gear inside. Yikes. Yes. Uh, and there's uh, 90% of the stuff is from small businesses, so it'll be su- supporting small and upcoming brands. There you go. Uh, you get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the promo code GARBAGE at checkout. That's bo- boxofawesome.com. Code GARBAGE for 20% off your first box. Do it. Talking about my fave, the butcher box. Butcher box. Oh, yeah. I still got a meat full of freezer. A freezer full of meat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm all jacked up on ground beef because yeah, I got plenty of this it. This guy's got bacon on the brain. Ah, oh, man. Whole turkeys, wild king salmon. 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 Sent you some Alaskan salmon. Dude, you know what gets me is the steak tips. I'm mm. a big steak tip guy. We have them out right now. They're sitting in the sink, defrosting, getting ready to get cooked up at the Foley house. Butcher Box is a subscription service that takes the guesswork out of finding high-quality meat. They source all their meat from partners with the highest standards of quality. No more food searching. The grocery stores hunt up for 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, wild-caught seafood, and more. Wow. Uh, every month, Butcher Box sends a curated selection of high-quality meats right to your home. Free shipping in the continental U.S., uh, no antibiotics, no added hormones, all that kind of stuff out the door. For a limited time, ButcherBox is offering new members a great deal for the new year. Sign up at ButcherBox.com slash AYG, and you'll receive the ultimate New Year's bundle in your first box. This deal includes ground beef, chicken thighs, pork butt. That's seven pounds of meat added to your first box for free. Get this New Year's bundle before it's gone by going to ButcherBox.com slash AYG. Now back to the show. Yeah, and you were a normal birth. I believe so, yeah. You don't remember know how much you weighed? I normal, normal weight. I don't know the exact. It's weird to know the exact. Well, I agree. I was born three pounds, nine ounces. That's like your mom sitting down and telling you that too many times. Yeah. Your mom never told me that shit. What do you think? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Why do you think I am this way? Eh? Shit wasn't too normal in the finance household, pal. <laughs> I'm getting told how much you weighed at birth all the time. You wore your bronze shoes around. <laughs> oh, that should have done way better. <laughs> no. I object. No. To the court. Did you have that bronze shoes? Oh yeah, my sh- I got my shoes bronzed, bronzed. What? Yeah, you didn't have that. No. <laughs> you probably pawned them. Yeah. What do you think? Wait, why'd you get? Why I do people really get do their that shoes when, when babies bronzed. pass away? Yeah. No. In like remembrance. Yeah. No. But it was just like what your <laughs> your family was. 
What's the thing? You, you, <laughs> you have something here? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> what's the, What's the thing where you Not put it out in the McMullen universe? With sports. What? What's the thing where you put it out in the universe to make it happen? Bitcoin? No. When you oh, like an uh, aspiration, a goal, like uh, you, you know, like they're like, the like a vision board. Yeah. No. Your family put the bronze shoes on a vision board. All, all you the would kids, die. all the my they put kid. you on a three in the pool. <laughs> 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 like an old time mobster. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was late on the thing. <laughs> Stop eating all the crackers, fatty. <laughs> He'll be sleeping with the fishes. He's sleeping with the skimmer. <laughs> Ah, that's funny. <laughs> All of my... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. What's the matter with you? Just coughed up a frog. <laughs> Snail shell pops out. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> No, all the kids in my family all had their baby shoes bronzed. That is a trash move. What are you talking about? You're bronzing shoes? Yeah. I don't, I don't mind golded. And 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 our handprints? No. On what? On what? On bronze? Like plaster. No. Oh, I got the handprints. Not Han on Solo. Plaster. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everybody did. But that. no, no bronzing on the shoes. She, she probably couldn't afford it. I don't know what to tell what, you. What do you wait, do you still have the bronze shoes? <laughs> Yeah, you know buried in the backyard. You know it's you know trash <laughs> if my mom did. They're in a safety deposit box. box. You yeah. want to hear? And I swallowed the key. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to gut me if you want these shoes. Finance. <laughs> I <laughs> swallowed the gut key. I was a hair. I was a mule for brown shoes. <laughs> Now put it someplace safe, you, Henry. You want to you know what was trash what my mom did? Before I got braces, she Spray got- Spray paint at your sneakers? She got- <laughs> Oh, God. T-bone? Why don't we bronze that joke and put it in the Hall of Fame of shit? Oh, and one count. Back at it. Let's yeah. go. Uh, dude, my mom got a plaster mold of my teeth before I got braces because they were so fucked up. Jesus. And she would show them to people when they came over. Jesus. I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because I had big old buckaroonies. That was oh, a... they did it for, that's how they mold, that's how they figure out the braces. Like, they do right, the mold. Right, right, but yeah. she has to keep it. <laughs> that's a little. Yeah. It's Jesus. a little strange. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trying, trying to set you up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Burn your teeth. <laughs> Put a, leave that thing in a fire. Let me see, dude. If I can get the mold and bring it in, it's hilarious. you're not bringing that in. I don't no, want that. In. I don't want that anywhere near the building. It's not my teeth. To, it's it it's this, is, this, this is post braces. What I'm looking at. I got great teeth on the top. <laughs> <laughs> I got a great tooth up there. <laughs> Man, I got good tooth. You got good. <laughs> My tooth is fantastic. Uh, uh. Ian's wonderful. He has amazing tooth. <laughs> I think the ones that are premature. <laughs> It was two. It was I two got pounds. my toothbrush. He had a couple of preemies in there, and one's overcooked. <laughs> he had three sets of teeth because he came out too early. He's like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Stink. Uh. <laughs> what would your mom do for you on New Year's for your birthday? Because that, thank God, it wasn't Christmas. Christmas is a tough look. Yeah. Yeah. Born Christmas Day. Blow up balloons, you know. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Blow up balloons. <laughs> yeah, birthday balloons. <laughs> She's, well, you went to work with her at the party store? Dude, my, my mom in eighth grade threw me a surprise party, and she got the wrong banner and said, happy birthday, and said, happy retirement. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was just cheaper. That was, that was not on purpose. <laughs> she took that for work. <laughs> Gary in accounting <laughs> retired. Oh, dude, here's a trip. <laughs> For my 18th birthday. Dear Ian, enjoy Arizona. <laughs> Here's a watch. It's uh, a half a day old cake. <laughs> <laughs> I got the cake on discount. It's in the trash. You throw them out daily. Uh, <laughs> for my 18th birthday, we had a party at a bowling alley in Newport, Delaware directly across the street from the halfway house I would have to live in like five years later. Oh, my God. Isn't that funny? Wouldn't it have been great if one of those bowling yeah, balls that's was hilarious. a crystal ball? <laughs> <laughs> Why what, are is that a, what, are you writing a memoir? What's going on? What? I should. <laughs> me, and, me and Lenny Dykstra. Tales of a Dirty <laughs> Delaware Doozy. <laughs> the Ian Finance story. That guy, a friend that guy of owes me. 
Yeah. <laughs> the friends of finance. That guy owes me. Dykstra? <coughs> what does he owe you? Yeah, you told the story at one of the uh, previous... Um, uh, I, on Center City Podcast. No, but you told it on here as well. Yeah, you and went I, to his hotel or something like that. Yeah, and I did a bunch of work for him. He was supposed to come give a speech at my school, and he never did, and then he ghosted me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want that being rehashed here. Yeah. This isn't a fucking mediation office. It's like when George comes in with a stained sweater. <laughs> well, no. I need you guys. I need backup. You guys are here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fighting Lenny Dykstra. That guy would fuck us up, dude. No, he wouldn't. He's fucking mental. Exactly. Now. Those old ball players? Nah. Yeah, dude. You don't want his to name fight was, wasn't it, His name was Nails. Yeah, but dude, that was when he was at his peak. Right now, he's an old roided out fucking lunatic. He could fucking knock him out in a heartbeat. I don't no, think so. Nuts. I'll I'm box not, him. You're nuts. Oh, will you, Jake Paul? You'll box him? <laughs> I'll let the pay-per-view guys know. I, you don't think I could You were just less. walking around with a cane for like yeah. nine yeah. years. Yeah, my osteopath fixed me up. You don't think that I could... He's going to be your quarter, man. Once I... <laughs> Your cat is your cut, man. <laughs> Can my girlfriend come? <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep cut. That is a deep cut. <laughs> Woo! You don't think. Hey, Ian, I, I killed my roommate. I need help burying the body. Can my girlfriend come? <laughs> <laughs> She's a fun hang. She loves murdering people. Hey, we're going to do an intervention for Foley. We really think it's getting out of hand. Oh, great. Can my girlfriend come? She loves fat pieces of shit. <laughs> oh. You don't think once I get this hernia thing checked out, I could beat up Dykstra? No. Listen, you never start beating somebody up with once after I get this. After a procedure. <laughs> once I get... Listen, after rehab. Listen, once I get these gallbladder stones taken out, I'm going to fuck you up, buddy. <laughs> Six to eight weeks after I heal. I don't want to pull my stitches. And no faces. Let me tell you something. When I get off dialysis, Dykstra, you're going down. Dude, he would go, get my goiter checked He would out. go right for your asshole like a spider monkey. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, your nuts would be off. So it's a win-win for me. <laughs> Ian's also the ring girl. <laughs> He's tucked in again. <laughs> he's, he's carrying a car. Hey, Lenny, remember this one from 93? <laughs> <laughs> in the ring, dancing around in orthopedic boxing shoes. Uh, One's higher than the other. On. He's got one of those club foot shoes. <laughs> I, I have a lift in my shoe right oh, now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm 5'7". Oh, this has hurt my hernia. Premature, huh? <laughs> oh, <Not> man. My <laughs> hernia. This kid needed a couple more minutes. <laughs> like a bad gingerbread man. <laughs> you were going for over easy. We got sunny side up Woo! with this one. Get <laughs> <laughs> some toast for this kid. I could beat up Dykstra. <laughs> you could. Without a doubt. <clears throat> I don't uh, think you could. Not happening. And we're not going to find out. No. Shout out to Mr. Dykstra and the Dykstra organization. Yes, big we love these Big fans. Big I'm a, I'm fans. A this is get back to Lenny. This is a big show. What? This could get back to Lenny. He could be a fan of the show. Lenny's I want Lenny Dykstra. Dykstra being pissed off at me. I Lenny love you, Dykstra, Lenny. Dykstra, let's hang on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, AYG. Yeah. All right, we got a couple of minutes left here. Let's let's crush to a couple of questions. Please. I love how we never get to. I know that's great. Your crazy cousin Ian. Um. All right. Let's see here. This one I've never thought of, but it, I've done it. It's a tough look. This is from Keaton. Ever take your shoes off in the bathroom before taking a shower? What? So you've worn your shoes. You've been wearing your shoes in your house, and then you go into the bathroom, decide to take a shower, and you. So have that to means you off. take your clothing off and then put your shoes back on to no, go to the no, shower. No, you fucking <laughs> psycho! What? Jesus Christ! What are you talking about? I think your brain's a little medium rare. <laughs> what are you talking? No, you're you're dressed like this. Yes, and you walk into your bathroom to get to take a shower. So you de you take your clothes oh, off. Oh, you the just said sh you ever take your shoes off to take a shower? You didn't say all your clothes. That was implied. Ever take your shoes off in the bathroom before taking? Did you ever have to have your? Did you ever have? Then the question off? would have been: Do you ever walk around your house naked in your sneakers? <laughs> yeah. <which> yes. Is... <laughs> <laughs> which is why I was confused. <laughs> I wear slippers to the shower. Oh, very nice. Big fan of slippers. Where do you dry off at? Do you dry off in the sh in the shower, or do you yep. get out and fully? What do you or do a, do a half and half? I in the shower. I. Uh... 
Do the get top the, half. Get the water yeah. off. And Wait, with I, your hand or the towel? With with the hand. Yeah, so you get the too. initial layer of water yeah. off. You get you get the heavy. You get the yeah, heavy. Yeah. So stuff your off. towel's not soaking wet. Yeah. Idiot. And then you get out your towel <laughs> off, and then I, uh, you know, I gotta do the wrap around on my head because I have curly hair. So then uh, I do that in the bedroom, and then I get ready. Put your makeup on and uh, <laughs> grab a clutch. Pretty, you know, <laughs> grab a clutch. <laughs> do you guys? Oh, do you guys have your clothes waiting for you? No. When you get out of the shower. Oh, are you in the army? Yeah, no. What, the fuck? what am I? I six? Do. What am I? A retired colonel? What? No. Yes. No. You got to make sure your gig line's straight. <laughs> you guys don't know about you that. You lay your outfit know. out like you're going to school. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's and weird. I FaceTime my mom to make sure it's nice. <laughs> um, let me see the teeth again. No, dude, I take out I take out my, mom, my socks, doing? my underwear, my shirt, my pants, put it on my bed. So then that way I get out of the shower, bing, bam, boom, put it on. I could on. do that on occasion, sure. I How guess. long does it take you to get ready? Uh, my whole process is half an hour. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if I'm taking it's at the car wash, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Still 30 minutes. Depending on who's working the hose that night. <laughs> Depends if he wants the armor all or not. <laughs> Sometimes they get detailed. Um, <laughs> no, I'm so so I can take, uh, that's with like tunes in the shower. If I have to lay, uh, I, I give myself on the half an hour. I give myself a half an to hour. To out the door? To out the door, yeah, half an hour. I'm, I, I mean, that's a nice. You're missing some crevices. No, that's more. a nice shower. You got 127 hours going on in there. Dude, that's a nice shower. That's a scrub. That's a couple. That's a couple of songs in the shower. I'll do a couple of songs I, in the I, shower. I'm one song in the shower. I can be. I can be ready in. And that's Scott. Minutes. That's quick. Yeah, I can be done 15 minutes. I'm Dude. half hour out the door. Half really? Hour. Yeah. Got to do the road game. What know. are you? you do road game. Yeah. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 15. yeah. 15. In and out. Boom. Licks himself like a cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cough up a hairball and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. The other night, I was like a firefighter. I, I didn't shower, <laughs> but I was on the couch with, with Liv, and, and Liz called. She goes, 618. She goes, can you MC the 7 o'clock? I go, I'll be I'm there. I'm out front, actually. Dude, <laughs> I, I was like a firefighter. I got up. I grabbed my coat, put it on, kiss a wife goodbye. I'm out the door, took her car, got there in 18 minutes. Got a ticket, Time didn't to smoke tell her. Two and get a <laughs> coffee. What? Got a ticket, didn't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Left the car, got towed, said it was stolen. You're yelling at her. I've never even been to the comedy <laughs> cellar. <laughs> But I, I hey, was, did you know your windshield was all smashed in? <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, I, I, it was like this when I got it. What uh, kind of car does she have? Honda. Blue. Electric blue. Real nice. Electric blue. Yeah. Type in electric blue. Look at that color. That's a nice color. <laughs> what are we doing? No, don't type that. It's got to be working A1 oh, auto oh, sales. We, we can look up SID boards, but we can't look up a color. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Serious problem. Hey, it's my show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get a popular show, you can do what you want. <laughs> but until then, I'm in charge of the Google. Oh, oh my There'll be no electric blue. <laughs> it's electric blue. It's kind of like this, this color right here. Nice. Nice. That's a nice flannel. Thanks. You selling it? <laughs> <laughs> Trade your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. But hold on, back to what? that question. That's insane. My shoes don't. We're we're pretty much in no shoes in the house. Yeah, but I in the apartment, especially in New York, you dude. Yeah, if you different. can't walk yeah. into a fucking no. bathroom with your shoes on. No, because if there's any water on the floor, there's gonna be like disgusting yeah. shit. Yeah, and that's the big thing in New York. Around, shoes off, crazy, the dude. The the best I tell you is having a mat next to the door with. Your shoes, so that outside. You just put your shoes. Ah, uh, we have it inside, but we have yeah. A little of course, rug. we have that. And you you put your slippers on there, so you do the transition. Oh, so it's like you That's wear nice. the slippers to the door, leave, yep. park them there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come back. Yep, slipping into something. Mm -hmm. The oh. shoes outside's no good. No, no, no. Uh, speaking of of shoes, so and you slippers get a spider house, or a roach. I would love to have you all over for dinner one night. We could I think cook I'm you dinner. Yeah, what is penny that? Penny alavaca. If it wasn't for nice. this. Bring your own pennies. We're getting a new couch, so there's more room for others. That, that, sound, be, that sounded that'll, like, that'll be delivered on the day that we get there. Yeah. It's nice. Can you guys uh, help like us the, move this section? The one on the first floor? Yeah. I have been. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've oh, yeah, been there. We and you have that whole world. place now. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's real nice. We went to comedy Got That was the day after my big television debut. Yes, I, re I remember you go, can you introduce? I was the first one to intro you on stage at, with a TV credit. Yes. I remember at that. The Bristol Comedy. Yes. Laughs at Gotham Comedy Live. Gotham Comedy Live. Yes, we all got that. Yeah. 
And I remember taking a piss on the side of the road, and, and Derek had to hold my dog in the front seat. Yeah, <laughs> Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah. He was just, yeah, man. You was brought a- your dog to a show? Are you Joan Rivers? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I like dropped liber- her off in my mom's afterwards. Comedy Works was like, I don't know, 45 minutes outside of Delaware? Right? No, it's not that show was me, you, Derek, Cotton, Dave. <coughs> I forget. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, we thought we were doing it. I oh, was on yeah. channel eight hundred and thirty seven one yep. day, and then at the Bri- I was at Georgine's in Bristol the next oh, night. Yeah. Put out a nice plate of pasta up there. Yeah, uh-huh. they did. They charged yep. you for though. The next night Hell I Hell of a chicken parm. The next night on the way home, I made a pit stop to see Rachel Starr at the local strip club. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Who's Rachel Starr? You don't know Rachel Starr? Mm-mm. She's Ooh. a novelist. Who the fuck do you think she <laughs> is? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a poet laureate, you <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> And went to a She's... poetry reading in Bristol, PA at fucking 2 a.m. No! Uh, what's the one in Bristol? The show... Uh, I don't show know. The, the fucking... Club Risque. The fucking no. Don't Go Back. Yeah, I think they were Club Risques. <laughs> Club, you're making yeah, a when mistake. You, when you give them fake money, yeah. They usually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they Where you can get a, a lap dance for a title loan. <laughs> Payday loans. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, this one's from Johnny C. Never had a, never had one read. Is it garbage? Johnny C. Uh, is it garbage to have a picture of myself, Kippy, and Foley in my dating app profiles to make myself look slimmer? <laughs> Pro move, my man. <laughs> Whoa, Carry on. Yeah. Smart move. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. That is not garbage. That is not trash. That I like is it. Gold. Yeah. It's also we're a little bit of star power too. We can we can fucking help nudge you along. There you go. Is that fun like, when you know someone Kevin? uses you in a dating profile and then people recognize you as have. like an intro? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's fun. <laughs> What's yours, you and Lenny? Here it comes. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah, I helped Lenny get late. I um, knocked them down together. <laughs> all right, we got a couple more to do just to get some of the first timers out of the way. Um, oh. All right, this one's from Andrew. Have you ever handed out a business card with a handwritten edit? Like, here's my card, but this is the correct email. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, but I've gotten them. A lot you know of who, them. You know who get the first... I don't use that number anymore. Here, let me write <laughs> yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Let me give you the direct line. <laughs> you know who... The first time, I, it was even worse than a handwritten edit. Uh, to rest in peace, our boy Chris Cotton <laughs> handed Flip a card. That was he. It was two business cards, and he had them stapled to each other. And he's like, "Yeah, use the information on the back. That's the real stuff." I was like, "Oh my god, what a Woo! bozo!" Move. God bless a stapled hey, staple. You ever get a business like a headshot card? And resume stapled together? It was like yeah. Chris. It was like Chris. Two cards. You know, Chris Cotton. Here's the thing. Whatever. And then he had like more updated information or something. So he had that staple like. It was like a baseball card. Oh my God. <laughs> he Piece of gum in he it. He did not close the deal. Yeah. I might have. <laughs> he got traded. <laughs> did you, uh, <laughs> have you ever gotten a business card from someone that's like paper? Uh, yeah. Like they that, didn't spring they, for like the, the, yeah, the and index. And they printed a bunch out and they've cut it mm-hmm. themselves. Yeah. I don't think I've ever got handed a business uh, card. I got, I was just, I have them. And of all the shitty comics I've oh, I have them. Yeah. in the past, uh, for whatever reason, whatever I so you know, the past ten years or however long I had the Montego, the whole time I was in comedy, I had my that car. So I would just keep them in the car. Yes. And I just when I sold it, I went through, dude. It's just like, oh my god. I wish god. they would come back. I like a business card. It's a real who's who of bozos on yeah. that thing. Oh yeah. We should all be handing each other business card like gentlemen and ladies. It's classy. We should get back to that. I've done them after shows at the Comedy Cabaret in the Northeast, and oh, then like dude. ten minutes, you're walking Me up too. to your car, you see them you in see the it parking on the ground. lot. <laughs> you're like, "All right, I'll yeah. pick that back up." Yep, was I can clean it off, yeah. use it again. Uh huh. Oh, dude, the business card. Holy, nobody, nobody wants to take something physical that they got to put somewhere, and nobody is looking at a card and then transferring that information to whatever you're. Well, getting I see, them to I, do. I see like things on Instagram where it's like your phone, like you like pull something yeah, up and yeah, they go yeah. here, and then it automatically downloads your contact. Yeah, into yeah, that phone, right? that's the way to go. Yeah. But I've had some cool ass business cards, dude. One of them was me. In, in like a, in a top hat that said in finance prankster extraordinaire <laughs> yeah. prankster chortles jokes and more <laughs> I dude I was <laughs> I leave off the last number of my phone number gotta make them work for it I was uh 
I was laying on the cover of my on the hood of my Camry in like a 70s suit with platforms. And I remember that. Yeah, that's a good car. I mean, you were walking around like Willy Wonka for like two years. I remember that. You yeah. had the ruffles and the yeah. hat and all that stuff. It was nice. Yeah, you yeah. stunk. Mm-hmm. Those were the years I stayed away from you. <laughs> I admit, I did stink. <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit, I do stink. <laughs> did. Dick. All right. Sorry. Did. Sorry. Your yeah, Honor, I do not deny that I did stink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and admit, still do. I may or may not still stink. <laughs> <laughs> that is up for debate. <laughs> um, I right, like that stricken from the record. Uh, this one's from Brianna. Uh, timely. Is it garbage to gift wrap the Amazon box? A gift came in instead of taking that item out. My no, friend's boy- and I just did it. <laughs> My friend's boyfriend did this, and I say it's straight trash. Now, she's as she's unwrapping, she has to open two boxes. That's fun. No. Yes. No. It it builds excitement. It's no. Yes. That's crazy. It's fun. And also the box is a template for the thing you need to open. So what are you gonna do? You get a pair of slippers, you you wrap the slippers? No, you no. wrap the box it comes in. I see what you're saying, but like a lot of times it's some up it comes in a box. Like the package, the product package. If you order a camera, it's oh, in that. Right. You take that out right, of the Amazon right, box. Right, right, right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's just that. Yeah, people yeah. are ordering loose slippers on Amazon. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Buy one from here, one from there. <laughs> I, I just need a left so. <laughs> I did. I don't want people to put a piece back together. Yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, think that's that bad. No. Nah. Whoa. Nah. Yeah. You don't so, open dude, it up and that's go. Fun. Amazon, you don't want to open it up and have their shipping information on the front. That's a bad. You want to open up the you want to open up the wrapping paper Nobody's and see the gift. Nobody's okay expecting the box. It's a fun suspenseful bi- suspenseful build up to the gift. No, it's a trash yes. move. No. Oh, no I'm with it's a lazy that. trash no. move. I like the excitement. For, yeah, me, for me, me, the too. action is the juice. Me too. The yep. more to open, the better. Better Bebo, be, chime in. They're better be, are running it, a he gave us our gift in the Amazon box. It's no a, wrapping, by the way. It's about the well, journey, trash. not the destination. Yeah, it's the total garbage move. I mean, it's it's one step above the bag with the fu- with the fluffy paper on top. That's not trash. What are you fucking that's my, talking that's about? That's my go-to move in that. That's trash. the go-to move. Because it's yeah. lazy and trash. No, yeah. it's, it's not. A, yeah. It's not, It looks very yeah. nice. And it's, it's nice to get a bag. And it's easy to get it out of there. And you got something to carry the gift. It's 100 times easier. That's why you do it yeah it's not because of how it's because something it's is lazy. easy doesn't no, make it nice. trash yeah it's nice if anything it makes it gold because That's a classy it's, move. you're thinking ahead because no, you can kind of see it there's never enough paper it's a trash move it's never the enough paper because you're it's fucking trash. trashy and you don't buy enough paper no you're what you didn't even bring a gift i left it at home yeah that's what that they means all was next it wrapped time, <laughs> What's the next question? <laughs> now, also, you don't wrap chocolates. Also, I do. I give out gifts to all my little neighborhood shops. You know what's real them. nice? Maybe just the top box wrapped, and you lift that. Like if like a yeah. shirt box, Ooh. you lift that up. Oh, that's oh, man. The, that's like been that's TV masterclass. Shows. Yeah, that's real nice. What about this? This is the most garbage move ever. Uh, like I, I've seen this, and I think it's so fucked up. Where parents will wrap a PS5 box. The kid opens it, and then there's it's like, like socks or, yeah. or something. Yeah, my that mom is, did that. No, because we had opened our presents. We just we just talked about this. We opened all our presents before Christmas, and I got a Sega. She put dirty laundry in the Sega and had me open it up. Did you ever get the Sega? A couple hours later, after I made a, you sweat it. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That was their biggest mistake because I put the freak out in freak out. <laughs> <laughs> I burnt the house down. <laughs> I, I murdered my parents. You want to play ball, huh, Patty? Okay, cool. No I, way. You freaked out? I got nothing to do for the next eight hours. <laughs> How old were <laughs> School's off all week. You're lost, Tuts. Yeah. How old were you? You're going to pay for that, lady. I'll tell you that. How old were you? I was like fucking 11 or 12. And you lost it? Oh, man. I did everything. What? what it, was like, it was like I was like deer hunter. <laughs> fucking acted crazy, cried, <laughs> said I was leaving. I was going to kill myself. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No. Fuck yeah. She wants to fucking, we're going to start pulling that shit. She wants to get Machiavelli in. I can get fucking Machiavelli you over here. You said you were going to kill yourself on Christmas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Nerf gun. I'll do it. I'll do it, you dumb bitch. I'll do it. Is this what you want? Huh? Where the fuck's the Sonic guy? <laughs> I'm holding a dog in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Taking hostages. Me and, me and Buds are going down together. I'll fucking kill him, I swear. Oh, my God. He's in a rubber tip suit. You know they hurt? <laughs> yeah, you stink, dude. You're uh, nuts. You're crazy. You're a fucking I totally understand lunatic. That. You asked me a question. I'm just trying to be honest. I'll throw these brass shoes out in a heartbeat. 
bronze, brass. These aluminum foil <laughs> shoes out right away. <laughs> yeah, Reynolds wrap. That's, that's she, the good stuff. That's what she used. Yeah. <laughs> oh, looks like leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> she put the little swan head on it. I'll eat Christmas dinner right well, now. Well, your father you ate your left foot, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. You have to do another one. Uh, all right, this one's from Chris. Did you know anyone who claimed their dog was part wolf? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, every dirtbag kid that lived too close to the woods always said that. Oh, that's I'm a fucking home run of a question, man. That is the <laughs> best. <laughs> Yeah, hey, he's you know he's fourteen percent wolf. Okay, you're a hundred percent douche. Kick rocks. No one's buying that. It's a beagle. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pomeranian. Uh, oh. It's a cat. Jesus Christ. Let's wrap that up. That's fucking crazy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He goes out there every night to do it, to throw everybody off. <laughs> He's doing it out of the side of his mouth. Hey, guys, just so you know, don't show any silver to my dog. <laughs> it's a full moon. I better get rusty inside. <laughs> Gang, we love you. Ian, what do you got coming up? He wants the folks out there to know. Oh, my God. Uh... What scam are you pulling next? <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the licenses. <laughs> What's the next heist? Uh, I if you guys want to buy some of my merch, <laughs> send me three hundred bucks. I will send you back a hundred. And uh, I animal six nine on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, I have a uh, laugh it up Poughkeepsie coming up February eleventh and twelfth. Mm -hmm. uh, Diego made a killer poster. I'm very happy about that. Right. Vermont Comedy Club coming up, uh, doing a weekend there. That'll be fun. Uh, next week, I'm going to be in Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Maine. Ooh, there you go. David Tell. Ooh, there you and, go. Uh, go see the fellas. I got some other stuff coming out. It's going to be this going to be a fun year. It's going to be a fun I'm year. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. special this year. Wow. Fucking await. Nice. Love love yes. That. You know we love you to death. And, um, I love you. We're glad that we got you. you. Do you be able to come back? You know, the holidays and stuff like that? It's great to see you, and we love you. You too. You guys are my brothers, and I'll murder someone for you. <laughs> okay. Hey, psycho. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Toby, watch your back. <laughs> Kimmy, what do you There's got for There's going to be no autograph signing after this. Uh, guy, <laughs> you just dolting the shit out of that wacko. <laughs> Fucking, we're not smoking a cig after this. Oh, You're my best. Uh, you got to stand across the street. <laughs> You're my best friend, and I'll kill anybody who says otherwise, <laughs> including even, you. Even you. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't return my call or book Lenny Dykstra, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, you didn't wish me happy birthday, did you? Uh, um, I, I am Lenny Dykstra. Yikes. <laughs> you turn around, it just says Dykstra on the back. He turns around real slow. <laughs> I told you I could do the show. <laughs> Call me nails or I'll kill you. Uh, guys, check out the uh, check out the special check on out YouTube. The spesh. It's uh, very good. Thank you thank very you much. All. We thank appreciate you. it. The 2022 tour we are about to announce next week after this comes out. Week, a couple days after this comes out. Lining all that up. We fucking appreciate it. Uh, yeah, guys, we fucking love you. Looking forward to 2022. Happy New Year. Love you. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.